Welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to fix Wi-Fi connection problems on your Android phone. I'll be showing you within Samsung's version of Android, so some of the settings options may differ slightly on your device. If you can't seem to find the page I'm on, you should be able to get there by using the search function at the top of the settings. Let's get into the methods. The first thing I'd recommend doing is checking on another device to see if Wi-Fi works on there. Try and load a web page and see if it loads correctly. This will confirm whether or not the problem is with your router's connection or just your phone. If all devices have an issue, try restarting your router or contact your internet service provider. Next, make sure your device is within range of your router and that there's no physical barriers in between that could impact the signal. We'll now try some methods on your phone. First, we'll turn off Wi-Fi and then turn it on again to refresh any connections. You can do this from the quick access menu by swiping down from the top of the screen twice and then by tapping on the Wi-Fi button. Or you can do this in the settings. Open the settings app and then tap on connections or something named similar. It might be named something slightly different on your device's version of Android. Within here, use the toggle switch to disable Wi-Fi wait a few seconds, then enable it again. You could also temporarily disable other connections such as data, Bluetooth or hotspot whilst we try and fix the Wi-Fi. Next, we'll try forgetting and then reconnecting to your Wi-Fi network. This will help refresh all of your settings relating to this network. Head back to the Wi-Fi settings and tap on Wi-Fi to get on the main Wi-Fi page if you aren't on it already and look for your device in the current network section. Tap on it or on the cog icon next to it to view more settings. Find an option on here called forget or forget network. For me, this is at the bottom of the page, but it could be elsewhere. Tap on this and then confirm it if it asks you. Now head back to the main Wi-Fi page and find your network on the available networks section this time. Tap on it and then enter the password. Allow it to connect and test your connection. If it still doesn't work, we'll move on. The next method is to restart your phone. You could do this now or at the end of the video. Next, we can try manually setting a DNS server. We can use Google's public DNS server, which is safe and it's possible that it can fix connection issues. To do this, head back to the Wi-Fi settings page and again tap on your network from the list or the cog icon next to it to view more settings. Find more options. For me, I can tap on view more, but you may need to use the three dots icon to find more options or advanced settings. Now find where it says IP settings and tap on this and choose static from the drop down menu. You may need to research how to set a DNS server on your specific device if the method doesn't line up. Find where it says DNS1 and in here we can enter Google's DNS server of 8.8.8.8. .8 now look for the DNS2 box and in here try 8.8.4.4. .4. Tap on save and test your connection now. If this didn't work or you think you made a mistake, you could reset this by forgetting the network and then reconnect. Next, it might be worth searching for Wi-Fi on the homepage of the settings to see if there's any options that could be affecting your connection. This could vary on each device, but there could be something like Wi-Fi sleep settings that you could disable. Try turning settings like this off to see if that helps fix the problem. It's also worth checking for any Android software updates. Search for software update on the homepage of the settings and then check for updates and install any that appear. The final two methods are a bit more advanced as they may require some additional steps and setup afterwards. First, we can try resetting the network settings. You'll need to reconnect to your Wi-Fi network again after this. You may also need to set up some mobile or cellular data settings and repair connected Bluetooth devices. To do this, search for Reset Network Settings on the homepage of the settings and find the link. Make sure this is not a general reset and that it's just the network settings. I can also get here by going to General Management, then Reset, then Reset Network Settings. Tap on Reset Settings and you'll need to follow any extra steps. Your device will likely restart 
and then you can begin setting things up again. You'll need to reconnect to your Wi-Fi network and you may need to confirm some settings relating to your network or carrier and SIM. The final method should only be a last resort and it's not guaranteed to fix it. It is to factory reset your device. You'll need to make sure everything is backed up before doing so, but this can be done in the reset section of the settings. Unfortunately, those are all of the methods I have. As always, I'll keep the description updated with any new solutions I find, and if any of you find a fix in the future, then it would be great if you could return to the video and post it in the comments to help others. Click the card on screen now to watch a video of mine showing you 10 easy ways to speed up your Android device. If you have any questions, then let me know in the comments below, and if you did find today's video helpful, remember to leave a like and feel free to subscribe for more tips in the future. Be sure to stick around to see some of my other videos that you might be interested in. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in another video.